Now, ready? S. 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 Writing races. This is a fast paced and easily adaptable game for young learners. It's lots of fun and it's a good way to promote energetic learning and encourage concentration, teamwork, listening, and of course, writing. Stand still, listening. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. These types of games are my bread and butter. They are so versatile and so useful for any age and level of students. Here in these examples, you can see them being used at their most basic level for kindergarten students with phonics and alphabet being the target aims. However, I have used this type of method for older students with great success too, simply by increasing the difficulty of the words and even adding extra factors such as time limits, dictation and full sentences. The rules of this particular setup are very simple. 1. Two students stand up. 2. Each student has a marker. 3. The students listen to the teacher who shouts out a letter or phonic sound. 4. The students race to write it on the board and then they sit back down. 5. Both students repeat the letters and get points depending on how fast or clear they wrote the letter. Please also note that for the younger lessons, I've already drilled these phonics and alphabet with them before, and as well as this, I've written the alphabet and phonics on the board so they can reference it. This stops them feeling confused or feeling stressed out. Bear in mind that for the younger learners, we are trying to encourage and promote confidence in writing and participation, so I wouldn't be too harsh with points, and mostly I would use positive reinforcement to give both teams and individuals rewards for writing. With older classes and more advanced students, you could be more strict here, but that depends on the class and the teacher. Variations so, what you are seeing here is a plain, straightforward race between two students. How could we adapt this, and how can we make it sustainable and more interesting? Here are some ways that we could change it up a little and ultimately make it a whole new game. 1. It could be used with other vocabulary, such as feelings, and you can have the students draw a picture or even just fill in a smiley face. Two. You can have them write CVC words instead, such as cat, bat, dog, fig, and so on. For older students, you could have them spell longer and more difficult vocabulary. 3. It can be done as a relay race, where each student from the team runs out and writes a letter, and it ends when all five team members have written on the board and sat down. 4. Another good way to incorporate the whole class would be to do it via Chinese whispers, where the teacher would whisper the letter to the first student who whispers it down the line and then the last student would run to write it. So many different ways to do this. Please let me know in the comments if you have any other suggestions or ideas on ways that we could vary this game. I'd love to hear your suggestions. That's it for this video guys, thank you very much, see you soon.